Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Sportsman's News Television. On this episode, we're in one of my favorite places. We're in West Texas with Steve Jones' backcountry hunts. We're hunting Audad here. It's late March. We got one of our hunt winners here, Eric Boley from Wyoming. We're gonna get out. He's never hunted Audad before, so he's in for quite an experience. We're gonna have a great time out here, so let's go get you a whopper, buddy. Great, thank you. We uh, left camp this morning, uh, made our way to this high point. We've seen a couple of bands of odd ads so far, a small group uh, off to the north, and we think we've seen a, a big ram about two miles away uh, up in the rocks. We're planning on trying to find a way to get closer to him and make sure he's a shooter. Standing on the door and try to get those ones out of 200 yards. Maybe. See them right down here in the trees. Right down in there. See, there's, a, a, there's a whole bunch of Spanish daggers right there, one with the blue one on top of it? Yeah. Right to the right. Oh, yeah, under that cedar. Okay, there's two right there. There's one a little closer that's, that's moving pretty good now. Are those young rams? Yeah, they might have been. They were a little bit heavier on the base. They might have been young rams. That one's watching us now, this close one. He's busted us, so. Which one? The one on the right here. Get right back at us. I can't see him on the right. Careful. Yeah, he's in the middle. I guess he's the middle one. I guess he'd be the middle one. Almost oh, his butt towards us? Yeah, the middle one there. Oh, and that sheet. Yeah, he's looking right at us now. He's busted us. That's the draw. You'd have to have gone through that yeah, gap. You'd have to go around that. And that draw's pretty deep. Pretty deep down in there. He could get around without us seeing him, but I don't think he is. I think he's going to be laying down in there.
want to be part of. That's a great round. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> wow. He is something else. Well, here, here's uh, my ram. It's uh, the end of day one. We uh, worked our way into a canyon here, and uh, so we're working our way around the, the edge of the canyon. We spotted uh, one sheep, and as we started glassing, we found a band of rams, and uh, we had to move. The wind was blowing pretty hard up the canyon, so it concealed uh, our sound, but we, uh, we were able to get up above them and finally had them work their way out below us, and I uh, had to take a running shot going straight away into the bottom of the canyon and was lucky enough to connect on this beautiful ram. It's a dream come true out down here in, in uh, West Texas. bunch of rams, probably 30 rams in that group, but not anything we want. So we're looking for a really big one. We killed some whoppers down here, 31 and a half, 33s, 30s. But you gotta pass rams like that if you're gonna get one. Our hunt winner got a really good ram. Now we've got one tag to fill. Mine, we're gonna try and get a whopper. Well, that's our third big group of sheep we've seen today. Just can't get a break and find one that's a whopper, but that's one thing about hunting with some of our platinum approved outfitters. You know what, we expect a great trip. We have seen a lot of sheep. We've passed a lot of sheep. You know, sheep most people are willing to shoot. I mean, this is uh, the reason we bought one of these hunts for our pro membership sweepstakes. We're giving this trip away the end of May, and we're gonna do this hunt again the end of March next year. We do this, this is our seventh year down here. We expect great things. We've killed some whopper sheep down here, 33s, 31s, 30s, 29s, you name it. Passing these is gonna let those get bigger. So if we can't find a big one, we'll go home without and save them for you next year.
and we've been hunting really hard for basically four days here. We've seen more sheep here than we've ever seen, but not seeing the number of big rams, but they've been hiding. It's been really windy here the last three days. That's a stud. That's, that's a ram I'd shoot on the first day, let alone on the last day. So Dave Calloway pulls it out for us once again. He's a stud. He knows how to find him. Let's go see what he looks like. Well, another great trip down here with Steve Jones, backcountry hunts. You know, his staff down here is phenomenal. Dave Calloway's been down here every year that we've been coming here. This is our sixth year on the ranch, and two more just world-class rams. It's what we kind of expect when we come down here. We've killed some giants. Another great trip. One of the reasons we bought this exact trip to give away to one of our Sportsman's News Pro Member Sweepstakes winners. We're looking forward to it. Whoever wins, you're going to be back down here the end of March 2017 with us. We're going to try and get you one of these great rams. Hey, we really enjoyed bringing this show to you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune in next month. We'll have another great show for you. Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by Alps Outdoors, exceed your expectations. CVA, it's just a better gun. Double Tap Ammunition, made with pride in the USA. Sitka, turning clothing into gear. Browning, the best there is. Bushnell Trophy Cam HD. And brought to you by your local Ford stores, home to built Ford tough trucks. What's America's best-selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F-Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history.